I'm, I'm Kurt, I play guitar and sing. Uh, I'm Joe, I play the drums. I'm Grant, a uh, bass guitar player. you describe uh, that type of music you're playing because I, I saw uh, some different uh, opinions. How would you describe uh, by yourselves? Um, trashy noise pop punk. Yeah, surprise punk. <laughs> yeah. Or earthquake punk. <laughs> yeah, just spastic noise pop. That's exactly what it is, man. You're releasing your music uh, via Antenna Krzyku from Poland. How did collaboration begin? How did it start? Uh, one of his bands, Buzz Rodeo, on his label from Germany, Stuttgart, uh, said you should contact this guy in Poland, so I did. And uh, Eric was just, yeah, I like your music, I want to see you live. So we booked some shows together. We thought we'd better play well, you know, impress him. And yeah, he liked it at Soundcheck, so it was pretty good. Job done from Soundcheck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, so it's good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's were the reactions for your uh, debut album uh, reactions? <laughs> Surprisingly good reactions. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, it's been picked up quite, uh, you know, in a few places. Um, it really, you know, like, yeah, it's been good reactions, yeah. 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 From It was released uh, initially... We released it out completely ourselves, and it was all self-funded. And then since then, it's been it was picked up by a New Zealand record label, Press Gang, and then we brought it over to Europe with uh, handmade Kurt and Grant handmade the CDs on our first tour, and from and now we've got um, Arik with Antonexik who has has released it for us as well. So it's been really good reactions. I've seen some teasers of your uh, next album. Uh, how would you describe this this record? It's it's a new style. Um, it's I don't really want to say too much. I'd rather people just listen to it and then you get your perception from there. We don't, you know, it's like as Joe said before, surprise punk. So yeah. we'd rather surprise you. You put it on and from track one, it'll be spastic, noisy, trashy, pop punk, yeah, all that stuff, you know. But as Joel says, uh, what do you call it? Soul and jazz or whatever. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's actually quite old. To be quite honest, Tetris is old now. We've already thrown away a song off the album that we don't want to play live because we have already started writing the next album. We'd like to stay ahead. So we've toured Tetris three times already. So by the time we come for the album release next year, we'll probably have some, we will have some new songs for the next album because, yeah, we like to road test things like instead of going into a studio being the pre-production band, we'd rather do pre-production on the road. Does a song work? Does the structures work? Are we gelling on the song? Is the lyrical contact all good? You know, so that's our pre-production is like touring extensively instead of just put a mic in the middle of the room and just, oh, does it sound cool? We'd rather have the complete package of a song. Yeah. <laughs> You're from uh, DIY scene. Uh, what do you think about that uh, that issues with uh, crowdfunding that uh, lately are controversial issues uh, with them? Do you think that crowdfunding is still okay when you want to release your uh, record or it's taboo in uh, that scene, in uh, DIY scene? Um, that's a very good question. Um, we are very DIY, like as Joe said, cutting CDs out, doing it all ourselves, and like you know, even like the label in Poland, Eric's label is uh, it's still DIY. Um, we have funding schemes in New Zealand, but it seems like I don't know, we're not really in the cool scene, even though we tour extensively. It's 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 a hard question because at the moment we're gonna try and go for outward sound which is like a very good uh, um, funding scheme in New Zealand that helps you with your touring costs, you know, like plane flights, because it costs a lot for New Zealand to come here. Um, yeah, if they, if they would help, it would be good. But us being a DIY band, it hasn't really stopped us, to be quite honest, you know, like we'll just keep going and going and going and going, you know, like if we want to do something, we believe in it, we just 
keep doing it you know mm. money is not going to throw us off off the railway track you know money's just a subject man music is the matter yeah yeah um, we've never really um we've never really dabbled or, or tried any crowdfunding or crowdsourcing for uh for money but uh i think if if bands if that works for bands then then that's what works for them but i think for us we're happy to pay our own money and work hard to do it ourselves because then at the end of the day you know that what you put down is yours and you've worked for it and it's yeah it feels good when you've worked hard and you see the results at the end Page me cases i'm full dead against it to be quite honest mm. i'll be 100 percent honest with you i'm dead against uh pledge me funds it's like why would you do that you know like you don't even know our music or anything if you're say from zimbabwe i'm just using that oh can you give me money for my music well hold on a minute i don't even know you you know i think you need to put the hard yards in mm. before you actually ask like our first european tour we were like we basically did it for free you know every show you know we turn up the promoter if we got 10 euros a show we were happy because it's like we're getting a chance to express ourselves we're not here to have a handout you know like it's where people will get like touring or diy culture wrong diy is actually do it yourself you know and you should be thankful to play your music to different cultures and cities and you know all that all that kind of carry on but yeah now this pledge me i'm not really into i'm, I'm against today eh? yeah full against it yeah do it off your own back yeah. and if people like it and they want to buy your record well that's awesome man yeah. every person that buys our cd or record or t-shirt we're so thankful yeah that means they like us <laughs> which is the main thing yeah uh, i've read uh, somewhere that you're uh, good friends with uh, closet disco queen what bands uh, from europe uh, do you like to tour with um we uh, we uh, we've toured of no place like road from paris um a real surprising band um that we've played with was at the barlock in brussels two or two or three saturdays ago was usa nails from the london there they really blew my socks off they're great um and then Kortrijk the other day um Shoeshine. 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 yeah they yeah. were good they from were really brussels good. they're yeah. good so we'll hook up on the album release tour next uh next uh, april and play with them in brussels yeah, and awesome it's a band you should check out but closet disco queen yeah. yeah those guys are great man the new zealand yeah, in march yeah, yeah. where they we um i've booked a tour for our two bands closet disco queen and us dudes to tour north south island in new zealand in uh, march what bands from uh, new zealand uh, would you recommend for a uh, european audience the bands in from new zealand who deserve attention are more, more or less like us are the ones who are going out there and doing it for themselves and making it work for themselves i mean in years gone by it was bands like die 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 or the mint chicks but yeah there's not a lot of bands are quite happy just to stay in new zealand and and not push the boundaries or not take the risk to come over here and and see if there's anything for them yeah, it's weird that one eh? yeah, it is like yeah. you know like we have successful bands in our country that are su successful in the country like villainy like they're a real good rock band they've won two toy awards now but they just go to australia and, and stay home and it's like I don't know they should tour europe or tour america or canada or something and just get out there it seems like the real underground bands in new zealand like we tour extensively and the bigger bands just kind of play it safe i don't know why mm. yeah like meth drinker is a band that's done a lot of touring around europe uh from our hometown they're good but yeah broods is a band you should check out but they're famous they're huge i personally like broods brother and sister combo they're electro pop it's yeah What's your guys' favourite New Zealand bands? My favourite New Zealand band is a, probably a band called Ulcerate, a death metal band, who are, they're touring Europe a lot as well, though, so, yeah. They're quite popular here. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. They're a good band. <laughs> What's yours, Grant? Um, the classic, I don't know. <laughs> um, my favourite New Zealand band? Right. Wow. Mint Chicks was always your band, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, but they're old. They're, they're yeah. a very old band. Uh, Mint Chicks I used to love, yeah. But uh, they they don't no longer exist, so... Uh, yeah. They're now a non-mortal orchestra, for, uh, but they live in Portland. Mint Chicks is UMO. Yeah, really good band to check out. But yeah, they're not really underground. They're, you know... They're huge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the interview and thank you for uh, coming here. It's a pleasure, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.